What is up in this genre, boy? IBS Kelso coming back with another MX Bikes banger. And today's video is just a simple how to, and I'm just going to be going over the bikes um, that you guys are having trouble to download, whether that be the horsepower one, the 110, Suron, etc. Right? I'm not going to show you all of them, but you're going to get into this habit to where you're just going to know where to place them. It's simple as it is, you don't even know where to find these bikes. So if you go to mxbmods.com, link will be down in the description, you can literally click on bikes right here and click on new bikes. Easy. Sounds pretty fair enough, right? What will happen is it'll generate a load and you'll find all the new bikes that have been coming out that you're able to download. For instance, the one as as the 155 STD um pack local grass track. I haven't even downloaded those myself, but you can get those. I don't see any use for myself wanting to ride any of that, but you can download those. They're pretty easy. And I'm going to show you from the ones that a lot of people have been asking for, which is simply the snow cross one. People have asked me like, yo, how do you get the snow cross? It's literally right here. Snow cross pack B1, CRF 110 and the R35 horsepower HP remastered bike. That crazy jump thing that you see everybody sends it, right? This is literally how you get it. Now, I've already downloaded all three of these. You literally simply click on it. When you go to download, it's going to show, as long as you have Renoir, it's going to show up like, yo, file, blah, blah, blah. Where do you want to place this? Just make sure you put it on your de uh, desktop. That way it's easy to find. So I guess I'll go ahead and show it. I already have this in my folder, but I have it right here, down here. All you got to simply do is click on it. It'll load it up. Uh, I can't even show you this, but it showed right now that by, by Renoir. So what will happen is when you load up the snow cross right here, you're going to see, I'm going to full screen this, you're going to see a do rev 600 SFX. This is actually a bike. And this snow cross one is actually a bike, right? So these are all the components that are inside the bike that you need to place. So you're just dragging and dropping. I promise you, you don't need to do anything with this. These right here are nothing. They're just kind of preview PNGs. If you wanted to see what the bike looks like and you're like going Photoshop or whatever, blah, 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 right? So what you're gonna want to do after that is want to make sure you have your mods folder up. So I'm gonna minus this just a bit and put this. And you want to make sure you go to your Proboso documents and you want to go to bikes. Now I already have the Snowcross in here, so if I slide down to Snowcross folder or where S's are in my Snowcross, you'll see it right there. Snowcross, easy peasy, right? That's literally me dragging and dropping, and I'll show that all these things work inside it inside the. Um, game now you guys got to be aware some of these mods come out with tire mods and that's where a lot of you guys really mess up it'll say pad tire mod tire you got to make sure you guys put those tires or you're gonna your game's gonna crash and it's gonna be really wonky and you're not gonna be able to load that's because you have put files in the wrong places and i'll show that for the uh 435 hp bike but simple as a drag and drop snow crosses in there as you can see everything that was in this snow cross thing is literally dragged over to here you just open it up and it's there. You don't have to touch anything. You load your bike up. I mean, you load your game up easy peasy, right? So we'll go over to our next big thing. Have never even tried the CRF 110. I want to give it a go. Don't even have it downloaded. So it's going to be the same thing. I'm going to keep this bikes folder open. I close this one. And what I'm going to do is come down to the CRF 110. What happened is you see how it has a tire. Extend this so you can even see it better. You see how it has the big bore. This is where you're going to be placing the 110 where I just show you where to place your, your snow cross at. But what you, a lot of you guys forget is that you need to put the pit bike tires in there too. That is your biggest thing. You're going to put the bike in there and you're not going to have the tires. So that's going to be your number one thing to where it's, your game's going to crash. So what you're going to do is make sure you have this about right here. Slide this one over. That way you can just drag, drop. And when you drag and drop, you saw the little load spot. Now, kaboom, it's completely inside your bike's folder. When you load the game up, you'll find it when you go through your selection. But you're not done. You got to make sure you put your tires in here. You're going to make sure you go down to tires. And you got to find the pit bike tire, which is right here. You can see that I don't even have the pit bike tire, right? What's happening is it's creating the tire folder. So when you load the bike up, it's just not going to be nothing there, you know? So drag it over. All you got to do, kaboom, goes to dynamite. It has all of its stuff it needs in there already. And now I should have the 110 when I load up the game. Last but not least, uh, the R35. I already have these once again. Now, there you go, finally. So when you open it up, it'll ask you something stupid like this, like buy $20, blah, blah, blah. press the exit button. I promise you, press the exit button. So as you can see, these don't have tires. Well, they do have tires. When you click into it, I'm going to tell you exactly what things you need to drag over, right? 
So obviously you see a pad silk and a pad tire. You don't really need the pad silk at all. I don't even have the pad sick silk downloaded and the thing runs completely fine. You can see it right there. Pad silk is not even there in my folder. So you want to bring that pad tire thing over. That is exactly making sure that the game can see or I guess regenerate tires for you, right? But on top of that, you want to make sure you put the right bikes in here. So obviously this thing starts with an R. So you want to slide all the way down and find your R's, which just did. So now I have the Supa in there, FX, MX, and SM. Literally all I'm doing is dragging and dropping. And once again, all these little extra files that you think you need, sound mod, PKZ, this and that, don't need to place that anywhere. Like you don't need to place those anywhere. They have their stuff, all right? So make sure you're finding the right, right things, right components, and you're dragging the right things. Because if not, your game's going to crash. You're going to get all wonky. So we're looking for the RM Supa, the Super MX, FX, and SM. As you can see, they're all right here. Easy peasy. I can't, I can't make it any more simple. All you're doing is dragging and dropping. Because like I said, it has its own components, engine, bike, everything. Now, you should be good to just load up the game. So let's open Steam up. And let's load up the game. All right, I have opened up the game. I should be able to say the automatic power, which is basically what it's called inside of here. And then it has its drop down so where you can either use the FX MX. Looks like the SM doesn't work. So you have FX and MX, and you really choose between those two. Obviously, there you have it. You have the you know automatic power. You literally load up wherever you want. I like going to Glen Helen. So I think I'm going to go to Glen Helen, or I think it's called San Bernardino. It is. So go to like San Bernardino. Use a little to track up. All right. As you can see, I already have my spot from doing the dirt bike dad joke stuff, but literally the bike works completely. So all you got to do is just start. Now, you can't obviously get these in our line races because they're not actually on the daddy list. But boom. You literally have the baby daddy. I just learned that. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, that would have been sick. That would have been sick right off the bat. That would have been sick. All right. So now you have that. So now I need to find my 110 that I want, right? And I got to find the pit bike, which is this OTTM 110. So, boom. Looks like we open it up. Kaboom. It has the little tires. It's got everything you need, dude. Actually, I might make a little bit of videos on this. It looks pretty sick. But now you do the same thing. You just load into a map, make sure it works, and make sure your game doesn't crash. And as long as you put your tires in, your files in, your et cetera, et cetera, you you, you literally can put anything you want. This goes for the Suron, everything. It's more or less finding what you need to put as a folder into where, you know. You don't want to place it stuff in the wrong spots. But as you can see, got the exact same thing. Little 110. Now we're cooking, bruh. We're, we're rocking a little thing. I'm on X Games mode. Ka-chow. Wow. He's him. Oh my gosh. He's him. Guys, look. He's destroying it out there. All right, easy peasy, right? Too easy. And then last but not least, we'll find the snow cross. Simple thing again. I just want to make sure and show you guys that, like, I literally did the exact same thing you guys are going to do and that they all work, you know? I don't want to just talk about it. I want to be about it show you that they all work. Same thing. Go to testing. What's up? Do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Yeah, man. How's your guys' day going? I don't feel like cutting any of this. I feel like it's just like, like I probably only want to snip one spot out of this, but yeah, there you got Have it. Literally works. I'm pretty sure that if I put my earphones in, it, yeah, I know you can sit here. Anyways, yeah. Yeah, I can hear it from the headphones now. That thing is just buzzing like a freaking fly. But yeah, too easy, right? It's all three things and obviously more that you can do. So hopefully this was helpful on how to download these bikes. Be sure to give them a go and do it for anything and just let me know down in the comment section if you're just like more bikes you want me to download and you're having trouble and i'll come out with another video but i guess i'll call this part one bye